Here we are at Free Enterprise. Fa la 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 la. Where's Romus is in disguise? Fa la 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 la. He is Pixel. I in fin in alchemy tracking. La 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 la. Thank you, Leggy, for the restream. Fa la 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 la. That was incredible. This is the racing club. Fa la 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 la. We will need the Lunar Sub. Fa la 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 la. For the Massa and the Ribbon. Fa la 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 la. Just to kick the butt of villain. Fa la 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 la. That that was incredible. Do you have another verse to remind uninterrupting you? That's alright. I didn't tell you about the second verse. You did not tell me. So yeah, this is Lunar Racing Club. Yeah, so I am Pixel Tamer. So yeah, our uh, partner tonight is Infinius. We are we've got Leggy Star Scream on restream and Alchemy on tracking, and uh, Happy Christmas Eve to everybody who celebrates that holiday. <laughs> or if you or if you happen to be in either Europe or Australia, Merry Christmas because it's today. Because it's today. Um, yes, we've got some. Magic of time we're going to have a great race. Yeah, we have a great race with Neon, Neon Gray and Antidale being featured on restream. Uh, this, yeah, I'm looking something forward to this. Um, what are your thoughts on this, on, the, on um, our objectives, Pixel? Um, I you know I always like seeing music as a mandatory objective. It's a crowd favorite, and it all it does kind of force our party our runners to at least have some sort of physical capacity in their party because of the magic resistance at that spot. Oh yeah. Oh, at least we've got a Yang at least. So hopefully he'll be able to punch up, despite the fact he's considered a punch mage. Punching is physical and not actually magic. So, in that, in that sense, we should we, we hopefully have a way to get past that. Indeed, and like we st we do have a free objective here with a waterfall, unless it's something crazy like Wyvern or something, because it's a high base speed spot, but not a whole lot else. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that's true. Um, but still, it's still also a, a big stack of hit points as well. So you know, it's not going to be something you can you know, you're likely to ha handle early on, unless you get uh, something very good to start with. So one Agreed. thing that's important to know about this is that we do our shopping is going to be very simple because we all we can buy our cabins. At least that's we're right. free. Yeah, but we're, we we're going to see them buy us cabins. Duck into one store, buy a stack of ninety nine cabins, and never go shopping again. <laughs> yep. And also of note is that um, I believe this we have uh, the K unsafe flag on, so our way underground might in actually involve the moon. Yes, K main summon moon unsafe. As you said, it, it may be required to go to the moon in order to find our way underground. And we are off. We've got a vanilla cane and okay. some dark imps. And, with, and an adamant, adamant rock, so that's no. That's also. At least we can have a halfway to a, a for, forge addictive where we can open up a cool shop to buy cabins. Yeah, I mean, you gotta get those, uh, those artisan cabins. That's true. So yeah, um, so I guess the important question here is, where do you buy your cabins? Do you, uh, which store do you wish to buy them from? Um, you know, yes. it really depends on where you want to go. Because like, I think the starter kit comes with a tent or three, so you don't have to get your cabins immediately. So I would expect our runners to probably pick up cabins when they do the Fubul Defense or uh, the Baron Incheck. Yeah, all very reasonable. So Antisale straight up uh, initially going f um, to Wall Street Pass, going to do the, the quick, a quick loot up there. Oh, find some black belt and a rude axe. Wow, this is this is already paying off in dividends for um, Antisale for for the early game. For sure, uh, we're on T Pro. That's one of our weighted treasure settings. So uh, you're going to find better stuff at the more out of the way locations or there's the gate locations that are gated on a key item. So that's why we see both of our runners going here. This is a very popular spot to go looting during the early stages of High Witches of the Three Miss Zone when we had free characters turned on. Yeah, but also we just noticed that we also picked up a mallet. So one thing about this flag set is the junk the junk flag is on. So we're not going to see no. So if we want that mallet, we have to really pick it. We get um we can't sell it, so it's kind of awful. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you really need to cure mini in a hurry. Is that what it does? I actually couldn't remember. <laughs> I believe the mallet is responsible for, responsible for curing mini. Yeah. yeah. That's but true. That it, 
It has an. Uh, it does have an niche use. Yep, and uh, curious that the on uh, Antidale screen that Kane is getting the black belt shirt as opposed to Yang. Well, I think it makes sense because we have we found a good enough uh, weapon for Kane to use. So, um, yeah, just being able to just use a rune axe to just help plow through, get those multiplies going is going to be more useful than um, a a Yang who can't do it. He's not going to do anything. Basically. That's true. And, uh, we've got second Yang here, and uh, Antidale is probably doing this height for the experience since we do have see no dupes turned on. So we're not going to have second Yang tonight. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's true. But yeah, still on the lookout for whoever our our fourth, third to seventh character can be because we have seven dis distinct characters. Oh look, eye drops. We definitely need those, right? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, I don't even remember what enemies can inflict blind in this game, but uh, we do see Neon is fully eluding the watery pass and did find a couple whips for Radia if we do end up getting our hands on her. I mean, I think, well, I think I, I'm off memory the lowest side can actually start to exit, so I think just doing the fall here actually means that um, you are able to just, you know, go, go down to the bottom here, exit out, and go back to the start, so you're not using that much time. Yeah, good point. And given that this is, as like you said, T Pro, and it's not like we're going to be able to find um, any other amazing items anywhere else, it's, it makes sense to just leave here. Meanwhile, it looks like Ansel's just finished beating Marlon and his friends. Um, I think ended up having to use a like, big uh, one of his free jailer items um, just to get through this phase a little bit quicker. Yes, I did see a big bomb being deployed to the end there. Yeah. Meanwhile, Neon is going to looks looks like they're going to be doing the a loot of um of Damsian or maybe potentially hot load if the hovercraft as well. Ooh, finds a silk web and a replacement big bomb. So, I guess early games go go by very quickly for Neon. Yep, silk webs are one of those very nice items. puts two stacks of slow on all targets, and it works on bosses. It works on Zeromus. It makes everything go a little bit more smoothly. Actually, one other really big thing that that Neon's just found is another star veil. Since we even because S Cabins is on, <coughs> when. It, our Star Veil supply is going to be in. Uh, is going to come in very, be very important for a certain fights like Wyvern or, um, or you know, Bahama if it comes to a, that point. Yeah, even Golbez at certain spots, you really, you really need the uh, the Star Veil to get through safely. Yeah. So be, I think it'll be interesting if um, Neon decides to uh, to actually loot at. And line afterwards, and I'll oh, even go to does the the um, the full, the Hobbs fight. Sorry. Yeah, the the Hobbs fight. You know, it, it's we know that it's going to be easy experience, but that's pretty much the only reward. Yeah. In in the mean in meanwhile, we have Antidel going down at Line Cave. Um, looks like he's just going straight straight for the um the bo the boss. Maybe goes to the save room and loot that chest there, but yeah, doing a little more minimal loot. Meanwhile, Neon's getting at least getting the objective out of the way, so Elements is a probably good fight here, especially considering we have a whole bunch of J items we can throw, throw so like a big bomb for the first one, or a sub for the next one, or, or just, just one shot that big bomb. Yeah, that works too. So with that, Neon is is on the board with. Their first objective. And uh, access to some more incentivized chests. We've got a rune ring and some mutant arrows. Those are both useful items. Hmm. <clears throat> well, we just need to find someone who wield them, but yeah, still very useful, you know. Well, Yang can more work with arrows, the ring. That's pretty good. I guess he is a, ma a mage after all, right? I did establish this before. Yes. So answer that. So answer that I was going to find out who is at that line. Oh, okay, so it's Kanato. Very easy fight. So again, with j all these jade items we've got on, on board here, just going to use yep. use another Boris, and yeah, we're done. Yeah, see, it is being easy, very easy generous as far easy. as difficult bosses and easy spots to just get them out of the way. <clears throat> hmm. 
Oh, and that's required. That is that is a twin harp. Uh, is PK in this race? Because okay, he's going to so... have a bad time otherwise. I do not believe he is in this race. And this... I, I think if... Uh, to me, that's actually very scary, seeing that um, that Twin Harp. We might in, be in for a jet seat, especially if um, that Twin Harp ends up being our, our Darkness Crystal. Because yeah, that, that would be go mode, literal. We just yeah, need the Chad levels. Yeah, is also pointing out that we, yeah, we are one key item from go mode. In fact, yeah, it looks like Anacel's... No, I'll probably see it. It's going to see who is at Elements. Let's go get the... Oh, who is at the Warfall? Let's go get the very good news that this is a, very, a free fight. With all our J items and go from there. Uh, ooh, I think that's not going to help because that for because Mylon in the elements fight. Oh, in the elements fight is um yeah absorbs. I can see absorbs ice. Yeah, but uh, we still got through and uh, we've already. I guess. If we run into Rubicant, we'll want that extra Boreas, but otherwise, that's really the only fight that's left that cares about ice. Yeah, it's true, but I think given how um, all the items we've, we've found so far, it, like, we, I didn't see us actually needing that many J items. That many J, J items. But no, it looks like we're going to get early early music play for, from Antidale. Oh, I, I like this. Yeah, give the fans what they want. And well, you know, since you know it's a trick, if this if this fight is cheesable, uh, yeah, you are so far ahead. And since most of your damage is going to be melee, any is uh is physical anyway. The um the high magic the high magic defense on this spot isn't going to hurt as much. Yeah, if this is, like you said, if this is a, a cheesable boss, we're fine. If this is, like, a mage-type boss, we're also fine, because we've got rune axes. That's true. Um, I guess if it's... I guess if it's alt gauntlet, it's also fine, because we have all these J items to throw. Yeah, very true, because they will not inherit the, the magic defense of that boss location. And if it's what... If it's, uh... Actually, you know, if it's wife, it's not too bad either, because you, you're probably just going to burn those, those star bells. But yes, because like, I agree, Ergo would be awful. But yeah. I think this is probably why you make the play. It's just pick pick who you're having to deal with. Oh, Gungi Spear. That's that's also a very good pickup, potentially. Yeah. yeah, Kane's number three spear at the very least. A uh, little less power than the Rune Axe, but more accuracy, and it allows you to use a shield again. Yeah. Which might be real if, if, if um, Yang needs to do some tanking. But no, we well I didn't think we'd see it ten minutes in, but we're gonna get our first reprise of music. So um with that uh we I guess both Pixel and I are going to be quiet for a moment as we get the sweet, sweet tunes of from the uh Dorset harp of DJ Spoonie B. Oh wow, that this is a good find for um Antidale. The fact that it's it's um Asura. We, this um this this rune axe is gonna come in clutch here. Yes, and we see uh, the Yang getting set up with our Star Bale. We're gonna probably bounce the second Star Bale onto Asura and just cheese this fight out. Yeah, uh, very in interesting actually. Um, yes, meanwhile, also Neon thank you, Heretic Transport. Sorry, go ahead. 
Are you gone? I was gonna say thank you, Heretic Transfer, the five gifted subs. Um, it's much appreciated. All your, this, all this is help helps put, keep the run, community running. So very much appreciated. Yes, and meanwhile uh, we had uh, Neon Gray fighting Ogopogo at the Fabul Defense, <laughs> gutting the Tower Key for their trouble. Uh, potentially required. We'll find out. So uh, whoever called Ogopogo was almost right, just a, a more different kind of right. <laughs> But yeah, Antidale is through. Um, it's going to get Antidale's through the Asura fights. So now we really are. Um, now we are Darkness of Crystal away from Go mode. Oh hey, that's our way underground. That that is a huge advantage for Antidale. Yeah, no, the fact the fact that he now gets has the potential to double, to just limit his trips down to the um, to Silver Ball. That's huge. Yeah, many of our runners like to do as few trips to Fabul as possible. Ideally, we'll go underground and talk to Yang in the Sylph Cave before doing the defense so that we can guarantee at most two trips. Yeah, that, no. Pop definitely sound, no, feel, I, if I was an Antel, so I'd definitely feel, um, quite, um, yeah, ahead at this point. Oh, so we have a so we know that's um Marlon Z in in um in Bar Baron Inn because we fought because we we've already fought the, um his friends correct. But that I think that Eddie means that I I'd be this is actually tempting. Oh wait, we have no way to buy Star Veil, so Eddie strats are probably off the table, right? And twelve hundred hit point mm. strats are almost certainly off the table, also. Uh, we're gonna have to see some good old fashioned grinding here. I like how Antel specifically bought 90, 90 um, cabinets and not the full 99. Uh, real power play there, and uh, we see that the second boss of Baron in is the Magus Sisters. Uh, that rune axe will come in handy again, uh, assuming our characters can survive, because those tier 2 spells are going to hurt. Oh, it should be okay, considering um, the, um, because of the timing, it, the issue is probably more the fact that... Um, the war yeah, you can see because of the way the um the uh the agility actually end up working. Um, Cindy got um Cindy basically got fired by the yeah, um by M Mandy before yeah. Sandy could get the wall up. Yeah, Mandy went out of order but and yeah. Oh, that's okay. That's interesting. All right, so yeah, Neon's going to be through here. Um, now with that with that Star Veil being used, that's was that a bounce Star Veil? Um, I mean the the Mega Sisters will regularly cast Wall and on themselves, and it'll bounce onto your party members. So maybe that's what you're thinking of. Maybe yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. Sorry. Oh, hey, right, pass. Well, pass is interesting. Um. We're going to be on the moon. We're going to most likely finish on the moon anyway. So, it was a bounce wall. Okay, thank you. So we managed to get through that by, um, let's just say, by praying to Iron Jesus for us. Me or Antidale looting, um, looting Fey much? Um, did you, I haven't seen. I haven't really seen what he's really picked up there, but um, I think Chad is saying there's a white spear. Yeah, I didn't see it, but uh, I will trust the chat. Yeah, would chat lie to us? Other chats maybe, but the free enterprise community is pretty cool. That's true. Ooh, we found a bow. So now, once we find um find a person who can use a, use a said bow, we are we're up and running. Oh, we found another star veil. Ooh, so you know, maybe if we loot enough, maybe we'll find enough um to do, uh, yeah, find enough to be able to do um, uh, Eddie strats. Only needs about twenty ish, right? So something like that. But uh, the Fame March chest did have our Baron key, and uh, we in the easiest boss spot in the game. Uh, Neon found the easiest boss in the game. Uh, I actually didn't see that. Who who was uh, it? Waterhag. 
Oh yeah, yeah. And it looks like yeah, no, like... Water Hag is a bit punchy. Uh, yeah, but like script-wise, it's the easiest. That's true. And uh, it looks like the bosses it. of the Fey March that, were that. the one set of guards and Doctor Luge, or Doctor Cutscene, as many like to call him. Yeah, I mean, you're not you're not sad to see um, Luge in the uh, the Leviathan spot. It's no, the first phase is probably give us uh, the f first phase where, where um, uh, the Belknap actually does the punching. That's that's gonna hurt, but apart, I think after that you're pretty much home free because that's mostly like um, percentage based attacks or health. Right, phase two part. of the Dr. Luge fight is an attack that is based on the percentage of your maximum hit points and an attack based on his current hit points. Again, percentage. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And uh, the Dark Knight is well, up for some fresh air today. So we've got... Yeah, this, that is a very... You're pretty happy to see that here. Yes, Eddie's going to go down, but this should this is a pretty much a tickle. Oh, he's not even going to go down. That's, that's... Edward's going to survive. Yeah, you will uh, hide just to be sure, but... Shows you how That's low the, the stats are at this spot where a base level Edward can survive. Yeah. <laughs> but po by the looks of it, probably not a base level Rydia. That's not that weak. Pretty weak. But not that weak. But yeah. Neon Grace through the first fight. We'll see. Hope, hopefully, see that um, whether the it's a more challenging fight in the the back attack spot. And uh, Antrodale finds his no rope. And uh, we know that the uh, the tower key is behind this. So with his underground axes, I would be not be surprised if Antrodale prioritizes doing that pretty quickly. Yeah, you know it's going to be a, it's a very easy fight. So you you know your darkness crystal away from go mode. Um, you might be able to also do the fact, take advantage of the fact that um, that you know you could probably maybe loot some chests there. Hope for some top tier, um, top tier loot as yep. you go through the chests. If we had access to edge, we could steal some sirens and get our grind on. That's true. Uh, we have Bygen in the second spot here on Mount Ordeals. Uh, this is kind of rude since uh, it's a physically attacking boss in a physically attacking spot. Yeah, and also with that wall, um, that wall's going to make things a bit more awkward for us, for, for Neon. Oh no, we've got some Stardust, so that, that, that bypasses the wall, so that, that's yeah. at least. I saw a guy who drum also, which will cast Quake. I and think it's uh, what cut, triggered the wall in the first place. Uh, I thought that was a, a Boreas. Either Ooh, one, Sheila one has the Sand Ruby, so uh, that's potentially a character. Yeah, and given how short we are in characters, like, and w this could this could also be big because that is a potential edge or potential Fusoya. That's right. This is a C standard flag set, so uh, those two characters are restricted to items, to key item locations. Uh, cannot find them on Hobbs or in Baron Inn. Actually, one thing I, I find it's amazing is how different, how many different paths both our runners here have um, taken. Like Ansel has made the made the gamble, is you know, got rewarded with um. Well, we, we we'll take this teller for on the same review spot. Yeah, and we're we'll probably case. gonna go up. Yeah, just get Fuso. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of character checks, that is the package down at um. On all deals, so it'll be interesting to see whether we, we decide to take this spot this boss fight um that character as well. I think you at least check it. Check the character. Yeah, I agree. He t makes it again, it could be an edge, it could be a foo. If it's foo, you, you um you just get to go zooms, you get to just knock out boss spots for fun. That's It'll also make um Master and Ribbon Room like very valuable. Well easy a lot easier to do without having to do too do much to do too much work. Right. But back to the point before, but I got distracted. It's very interesting how our, our runners have taken so diverse paths. Like they have so many different key art, 
they've done a lot of different key item checks. And just because of that one decision that Ansel made to actually do his objective and, and got rewarded for it. Yeah, that's chase your freebies, chase your objectives. That's one of the mantras of the, the higher tier runners, and you know, it tends to pay off more often than not. Hmm. But uh, let's see if Neon goes and blows up Mist. All right, look, looks like they are. So, interesting to see what, um, who, who we're potentially rescuing. Hey, it's it's uh, Boo. Well then, <laughs> I suppose we'll take this. Yes. Meanwhile, uh, Antidale is fighting the Dark Knight, uh, choosing to to deal over a thousand damage a hit instead of just taking the, the sixty damage total. Oh, I think, huh. Oh, did he time? Maybe what happened there was it because he actually got the um, dialogue. Maybe what happened was that he triggered, got the um, because I think it was just a jump from Kane that, that happened there. So, um, maybe just ended up being um, timed it so that the third jump happened anyway. I uh, got um, the dialogue got triggered anyway. Yeah, I thought I saw Yang doing something, but I could totally be wrong. Well, power is also a very slow ability, so this yes. could just just been that as well. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we now have access to discount foo and regular foo. Well, we have a foo at home. But I want that foo. <laughs> well, it looks like we have to no go go to uh, go stop fighting and to to you know, see who's there. Uh, and see who we have to fight. If this is Demis, this is going to be hilarious, by the way. Demis with Darkness. I, I, I want it so bad. Or yeah, I know, right? Demis leading to something that leads to Darkness. Yeah, either way. Something we're all hoping to see as um as commentators, because that would be the most incredible troll thing. No. Yeah, because everyone hates doing the, the package check for Demis. Hmm. Okay, so it's a Luna Sparkle, so it's probably good news. Oh, yeah, very good yeah, news. Yeah, this is fine. Held him, that's one swing. Okay, yeah, just one swing and we're done. And we have a Fusoya. Now, I, I really hope it's Red Fusoya, because Santa Fu is best Fu at this time of year. Oh, yes, especially if you did the Seed of the Week, you, you're definitely hunting for that Santa Fu, right? Mm -hmm. That was a fun one. I, I encourage people to go play it. Yeah, it is actually quite fun. Yeah, and, uh, just get all your vanilla fusoyas and uh, go do shenanigans. Yes. It's, uh, so let's see only... what does our food know. We have blinks, uh, exits, white, okay. Yeah, we don't have Berserk or Cure 4, but we've gotten more or less everything else we want. Uh, we've got Warp, which is nice for yes. dealing with that sealed cave eventually. We have Meteor, so it won't be too. I guess that's an interesting thing for Neon Spider, because they are going to find that there's a Teller here, and then probably will they actually, if they get the Sand Ruby, which was uh, Sheila One, right? Correct. Would they even bother going? Would they even bother to um go for ordeal? Ordeal? Even bother picking a Teller up? I mean, they've already done ordeals, so Tella's ready to go as soon as we get that Sand Ruby. Uh, I think the question is more going to be like, do we have a fifth character by then? And if so, is it somebody we'd ha we want to have instead of Fu? Or instead of Tella? That's true. I guess the other one thing about this flag is that it's going to be very hard to actually get to do any do a D-Machine grind. Like, we're, go we're basically relying on um, finding finding, like, some some sorts of ethers, hoping to, and then I guess I don't know. It's kind of weird. I think it would be difficult, but doable. It's not going to be as fast as your traditional D machine grind. But like you could use Psych to take MP from characters who don't need it, and you might have to split it up across multiple fights and use cabins in between. But like you could still get XP off D machines. 
Your main constraint is going to be That's... life potions, and you might have to rely on yeah. life one spells for some of it. So it's going to be awkward, yeah. but it's still f possible. Yes. So our tracker alchemy has brought up um, a good spot. As it's doing bar Baron in right now, um, as opposed to doing the um, doing the oh sorry Baron castle check as opposed to the Baron in check, which the, he hasn't done yet. Oh wow, we've got a, a whole bunch of gifts oh, that, that just came in from uh, usually clueless. Uh, Twenty subs, thank you very much. Wow. That, well, yes, if you're in chat, uh, don't forget to thank you usually clueless for the um, if you got some emotes. Yes, uh, thank you very much for your generosity. We we totally appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a little blown away by that. I, I did not expect such generosity all of a sudden. Uh, I'm not going to complain, I just well, didn't expect Christmas. it. it. It is. What? Well, and I, I guess it restores a little bit of faith in humanity after how awful 2020 has been with COVID and other things. <laughs> yeah. I, that's fair. No, it's always nice to, uh, like, I guess that's the one amazing thing about this community is that they're all, they're, they're, it's a nice group of people. You know, especially people who watch it, watch it. They, they don't have to even um, participate. They help with the ratios. Just watching it. No, we we're here to entertain and um, always have to put on a good show. Yeah, we have fun here, and that's the important thing. And uh, we couldn't do it without the community. But, uh, we we have a real price of music on the and Grace side. And uh, Bad Karma gives us five gift subs as well. Thank you very much. And uh, Karate Man is the, the the King of Baron today, so uh, Yang is having some internal conflict. Yeah, I'm pretty sure what a Yang is going to win this at least. And Yang, in fact, I was right, a Yang did in fact win. As you see, the Karate start crumbling. Yes, no matter what, Yang was going to win that fight. Yeah. Hey, I'm, 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 I thought Kane was meant to be the, the, the betrayer, not Yang. It depends on your point I of view. I suppose Yang does be betray her. Also, to, to be fair, voluntarily betray us. Although I suppose there is a point where Yang actually gets brainwashed, right? So yes, Yang is vanilla, brainwashed so... in Vanilla when he, he gets knocked off a ship and washes up at Baron. Uh, likewise, Kane was brainwashed the whole yeah. time. If you believe what he has to say. Hmm. We've got some uh, swag rocks coming out over here on Neon's side. Uh, Meteo being yeah. one of the few spells that has enough power to actually deal damage at this spot. Yeah, just like casual 8,000 8, da no damage. Oh, oh snap, that's a defense sword. I mean, it's not... You don't hate to see it, like... Like, that is Kane's you, second best weapon prefer... by attack power and arguably best overall. Yeah, you'd rather, I guess you'd rather it be, um, I don't know, actually darkness, I guess, but we're not going to complain about Defense Sword, especially when you have a cane. Mm -hmm. uh, Avenger would have been cool, too, since I believe someone pointed out a White Spear in the Fame Arch. Yeah, that's interesting, because, like, I don't think that White Spear was actually equipped to, um, to Yang, to Kane at the time, so I don't know. It's... Not yet, no. Huh. Well, this is an interesting fight. If we can get to phase two, this is free. Yeah, yeah. The pro challenge is getting to phase two. Yeah. But, 
uh, slap that white spear on Kane, and you are set because of that holy weakness. Oh, that piggy is going to make things a bit awkward to try and berserk said um berserk our party. Indeed. But didn't we loot some diet food over an antlion cave? I think we did actually, but I don't, did the actually would you have kept the let's be real, would you have kept the diet food? Probably not. <laughs> I, I may have broken our tracker slightly by remembering that. <laughs> But no, I think, but yeah, also no, we also, once we get, also we have, uh, if we get to phase two of Dark Elf, I believe we, Loki actually starts with, um, uh, hourglasses, so that's another way to, to get through this. Yep, I just saw some hourglasses in Antidale's inventory, so like, there's multiple ways to cheese this fight once we make it to phase two. Uh, I suspect that it's going to be throw we hourglass, have... cast weak, win. Yep. Or even skip that, the... Our glass, throwing our glass phase, but either way, it, it'll work. Yeah, depends how cautious you want to play it. <clears throat> Ooh, neon, neon going for the diving tower. I like it. Yeah, uh, they don't have their tower key yet. Uh, double checking oh, where that the, was. The says they do. The tower key was. Oh, um, you're right. It's the uh, the Baron key they don't have. Oh no, no, not Baron. No, yeah. So tower key is um. Sorry, tower key is for ball defense. Yes, you are correct. Because um. it was um, sand ruby that was the um, the shield one spot. Yeah, I so think. the Baron key was in the Fame Arch chest. That's right. Yeah. Yes, Sheila one was the sand ruby, and Fame Arch chest was the uh, the Baron key. I have. Consulted my notes and confirmed what uh, is hopefully true. Oh. Alright, so Ansel just had to reset there. He actually did keep the diet food, by the way. But then, Love I it. think... But, uh, another phase went by and just re wrecked it, so... Yeah, t Kane went down and I think that was it. Uh, unfortunate loss of time there. We see Neon is trying to uh, cheese one of these trap chests by just stopping the alert so it won't summon monsters and we can just mm. punch on it to get loot. Coffins are nice. Oh, hey. I mean, you don't hate to see a coffin you know, if, we, if we, since we know that Feymarch has a free, as one set of guards, it could just be a free fight there. We can just cheese, use, if it's the, especially if it's the Kaipo guards, because we can just um, coffin up the the, the officer and the soldier yep. will just punch themselves. Mm -hmm. And we also have hourglasses, so we could, if it's the uh, the Baron guards, we uh, we use the hourglass, we start casting weak, we life glitch for some extra experience, and it's a good time for all involved, except the guards. Well, we also have access to mute knives and, you know, all the mute arrows in the world, so yeah. I find it interesting that both, both, um, both of our races are checking top of tower. I think, I, I don't know, I'd be tempted to just check, um, just do um, the penguin aid especially just do tower key and that's it and leave. Yeah, antlion is going to be a rude one here. Uh, but not as rude as that Valvalis at hook two. Uh, glad we don't have to worry about that tonight. Oh boy, yep. Yeah. If somehow you manage to get underground and not know who was there, um, yeah, if you got the hook somewhere, Actually, no, we, we know we couldn't, if it was... No, we actually know that overworld Magma Key was our way underground. There's no other way, right? We've checked all the boss spots, so... We have not cleared Earth Crystal, however, Earth Crystal is not available on the overworld, so you are yeah, correct. Yeah. yeah. This is probably where actually having the food is going to come in quite handy for Neon. For Neon. It's just going to be able to, like... Not have to trigger any of the counters, and having a foo just do a whole bunch of damage here, that's going to help a lot. And blink to keep your party alive. Yeah. But, uh, Antidale takes a wipe. Yeah, it, it's, um... 
yeah, it looks like Ant uh, Antlion is very punchy here. And we don't, it's not like we have a whole stack of levels for this. Yep, so it looks like he's All gonna right. check out the, the tower key and then get out of here. Oh dear. Oh hey! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I mean, it's actually not that bad because if you. Yeah, once you drop your bow speed slow enough, you might be able to um, get the, the, the cane to. Um, or, and maybe the Yang to actually just attack. Get two punches in before the wife, the, the Mega Nuke happens. Yeah, this is a very low stat spot, so like one or two hits should take it down. Uh, I would probably have Kane jump just for safety. But, uh, like, this should be very doable. I'm not sure you, can have, I'm not sure you yeah. have the time, because... I'm not oh, sure you have the time. Jump have um, a time? Basic... Yes. Or we can just burn a Star Veil, that's also fine. Yeah, this should be fine. This you know is gonna work. Yeah, sometimes it's best to just play it simple and not try to get too fancy. True. And you see how the stats of this spot is very low, given that that Mega Nuke still only did just over a thousand. Mm -hmm. But that's going to be interesting whether this um whether this um Penguin Air Special is going to pay off. It's going to be very interesting. Meanwhile, Neon Grey is still uh, trying to uh, push their way through Ant, um, Ant Line. I think this is also where having like no no easy access to um, MPs might be might come to bite as well. Yeah, did they throw a Silk Web? I, I was paying more attention to Antidote screen. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't, wasn't checking that either. All right. I guess we were both preoccupied with uh, Wyvern shenanigans. Yeah. Well, it also came, it also happened to come to this fight at the same time. It's just that Ancestor wiped first. True, like, true. Quickly, so. Oh boy! Oh baby! That is go mode for Ancestor. That, that is, is Dark Crystal. So the Penguin A special would have paid off. Oh boy! So let's let's do two, four, six, eight. So we are eight key items. For Antidale, so it'll be interesting to see what if he goes to do cat checks now. I think. Oh. Oh, anyway, uh, just just a reminder for everyone. Um, even though we only have two uh two runners on the restream, we actually have uh five five runners in this race. Um, uh, I can't remember who. But yeah, just keep that in mind as we see, see this um see both Neon and Antidale go through this seed. Yes, also running are Jeebus Zero, Flurry fourteen, and Dallas. Okay. Yeah, it looks also, like Antidale's about to get the very good news. Also, I'm feeling kinda of generous all of a sudden. Uh, we've had thirty gift subs tonight already. If we can get that up to 50, I will double it. Ooh, Neon Grey got through, and I think the reward looked like a light sword? Yep, it was in fact a light sword. So that is a big, big oof there, but... Neon Grey is going to get the good news once they leave the tower, at least. That's very true. Gonna be this this happy once once they no once they find they use the um all all those um oh that that's also new that's also new for that fight as well so that's that's, the that's real also reward. significant oh thank you Zoe for me for the five gift subs so we're getting close getting closer to that to the um that promise for more gifted subs from you. Alright, we're now at 40? Uh, 45? Oh, t Tavern Games and... Oh, wow! Uh, 
Taven Games and um, Heretic Trance both also um, gifted five gift subs each. So that's well, it's, it's going to be hard to keep up. You may have to. You might. Your yep. wallet might actually be opening up soon. Yep. Yeah. Time for me to get to work and pull up All my right. credit card. <laughs> yep. Looks like you. Yeah, we've got, wow, that's that's huge. Uh, we have Bad Karma and Rob Draven also gifting f uh, five gift subs. So yeah, uh, your credit card's going to get good working. Yep, working I'm, I'm, through, I'm I guess. queuing it up now. Okay. So while we're waiting for um, someone to get their credit card ready, and you know, and we're seeing uh, our runners retrace um, each other's steps, a huge shout out to both Alchemy for doing the tracking and for Liggy Starscream for doing the restreaming duties. Without this, I don't know I would be seeing carols by myself at home. So, well, yeah, and there we go, Pixel Tamer with the oh, I got so many fifty gift subs. Wow, yeah, I said I'd match it. Um, yeah, you did too. So yeah. That is so, so many, so, so many emotes just unlocked right there. Oh boy. I'm a spoiled tech worker and I felt generous because it's the holidays. Look, I know, I don't blame you. It's, it's, it's the season of giving, after all. Yeah, so Leon about to get the, the good news that. There's a darkness crystal. Doesn't need to do anything else. Also, I did not admit the community would answer my challenge that fast. I knew they would, I just didn't think it would take less than a minute. All I did was just, no, poke the, all you need to do was poke the bear. No, no. <laughs> Actually, that's an interesting question. Who, so I guess we have to find out from Ansel's side who is on the moon. And... Ooh, I don't think we have warp a week yet on on Neon side. I don't think anyone has week yet, no. Well, Neon's got Tela. Neon's got, got week from that. Both our runners have Tela, right? No. That's true. That's Antidale. <laughs> well, as a, well, Neon's not going to... There's no way that uh, Neon's going to get the Sand Ruby. Sand Ruby, right, right. so... Yeah, so Antidale has week. Neon does not. But, uh, they're still looking well, at Well, I Tela. guess someone's going to... Yep, whether you liked it or not. Oh, we might. Oh, there's option B. What's a grind? I did um, say that with, once you get a through online, um, you might not. Cons you might consider just going playing through it as best you can. We do have a couple sirens, right? We could do some gold dragons. That's also true. That might that might su suffice for our grind. Oh, this will be a very um, I suppose with um, Teller Teller um, through we can actually go berserk. It's actually probably okay to go berserk strats. Yeah, I think and this is gonna be a have berserk Eddie party. be your anchor. Have Eddie be your anchor. Yank, you already have a, um a decent weapon. For actually, you have a gun gear. Okay, um, sphere for on the on site and defensive for Antidale. Uh, all all um, Yang needs is levels. So yeah, maybe we actually just do this. Yeah, there's three signs to start a crit kit. So yeah, maybe we just do that as our as our um as our grind. Also, thank you, Leggy, for the um pr the prime the prime subscription. Again, it's... Huh. I'm not curious what Neon's trying now. It, it, are they trying to get to 10 key items before doing a grind? 
Hmm. Uh, they're at six now, so I hope that's not the goal, because that's going to take a while. Oh, maybe maybe the plan here is actually... um. See who the Dwarf Castle... Oh my god, that's an evil wall. Uh, and Neon has an Eddie, so they are much better situated for that than uh, Antidale is. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a doable fight at this point. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's going to require a grind of some sort. We're going to need to have to berserk, berserk, have a Zerk or two. Yep, and uh, Dwarf 1 is Odin, which should be a pushover given the J items we have access to. Or a Fu. That Fu also solves also these, these problems. Uh, oh, hey! <laughs> uh, who, who are the bonus <laughs> round? I think this is actually... Oh, this might actually be really rough, actually. This is a really rough spot for Cause... Demist. It hits hard here. Yeah. That did 500 damage to Arcane in the back row. Ew. Yeah. And... If you can get enough blinks up, you're gonna be okay, but Yang just got trucked for almost double his health. <laughs> yeah, just minor detail. Ooh. On the plus side, even when we have two blink casters, we can get through that pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah, get some slows on, get some blinks on, and this is totally manageable. It's just gonna be painful in the process. Uh, Weak just came online on Neon's side, Me though. Yeah, but yeah, so week week was the last always in the last set of spells that you can get. So yeah, uh, ugh. not quite. No, don't like that at all. Uh, hey, quick kid, how's it going? Oh uh, yeah, we're ta we are we're definitely taking you. Thanks, Optiman. Just just the, the target we want to get knocked out. That's convenient. Yeah, and but one you guess so I guess in that case I think Neon has the incentive to actually D machine grind now. Yeah, slingshot that palin, get some nukes going on. Yeah, you only need I think eleven eleven D machines. Uh, I will pull up Antidale, in our uh, Invent's chart real quick, and we can find out. It's probably better, I, I've kind of... I'm pretty sure it's 11, with the slingshot. Here we go, D-Machine experience reference. Base level Palum, 22 D-Machines, half for slingshot, yeah. So 11. I think I've looked at the chart way too many times and just remembered some of those key key points. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh hey, an Aegis Shield. Just what we wanted. Yeah, slightly better magic defense than the Dragoon Shield. Uh, very good as an endgame uh, piece of equipment for Kane. Also something we can we can we are happy to give the Rune Ring to. That's that's also nice. But yeah, I think actually being able to do the D machine grind is going to help a lot for for Neil when he gets to this Demis fight. Because this Fu on Antel side of the field, he, um, Fu has to do so much work work here, like blinking up, trying to do um, the da do damage, that kind of thing. It's that is kind of intimidating. Yeah, it seems to have stabilized for now, but uh, who knows how long it's going to last. Yeah. Th oh, I, I guess if we release lose some Ether 2s, that will help. That helps with the, um, with, oh, never mind. Uh, with Antails for. Yep, that's objective 2. That's not going to be used. Shield, just what we wanted. Uh, we do not have a paladin, so we're not going to be able to use that, unfortunately. Yeah, sadly. So now, now, Antil Sarfield is. What do you do about this? Um, 
this evil wall. You don't have an Edward. Um, is this actually that's a good question? Is this a spot where if you happen to have an Ed, an Eddie, you could actually cheese it by just having Eddie hide with the rest of the party dead? It will it will bark itself to death. Let's see. Antonelle himself wrote a doc on uh, evil wall versus <laughs> Edward. Let's check. Uh, at the D lunar spot, it will not punch itself to death. Ah, dang. Oh well. Uh, says it requires between 19 and 28 punches, and uh, I'm not sure how many punch how many turns it'll take before then, but it's not going to happen apparently. Oh well. But no, it looks like Neon oh, is back 16 to times before moving the current phase. There we go. It's at it's at the top of the document in big bold letters. So I guess, so this is interesting that now, uh, Ansel's going to get his, his grind going with just by do, or popping three sirens. He has three hourglasses as well. Neon is going to do, do a, uh, I imagine it's going to be a relatively quick uh, D-Machine grind. Uh, I know Neon likes to slingshot Edward to the point where he can survive a big bang. Like that's usually into the mid sixties as far as levels go. So uh, that might be a thing we see from Neon based on past experience. Yeah, uh, uh, the slight pause on neon gray gray size just to probably bring up the the, ch the chart. I, I know I've done that. It was like, oh. yeah. At least I'm hoping that's that and not a stream. Uh oh. Or it could be that the stream crashed. Hmm. Might have a stream issue. Me and my big mouth. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm pulling up neon stream right now to confirm. Huh. Ah, they're back. Maybe their console okay. crashed? Uh, well, I hope that uh, things are okay. okay. Like, I think the last time they saved would have been before the Baron, the, the Dwarf Castle fight. Yeah, Neon Stream is up and it's looking okay. The timer's progressing, but uh, yeah, that, that's gonna suck to lose that time. Yeah, yeah, that that is gonna hurt a lot. Yeah, it's not something you, you like to see at all. Like, no, when if random when random crashes, just no, just cause that many issues issues to someone. Ah, gamepad issues, according oh, to... Oh, gamepad uh, issues. Oh, that's that's okay. not great. Oh, that is, that is very unfortunate. This was going to be... This was actually a very interesting, interesting to see um, how Neon's going to handle handle the rest of this, because I think they were going to get through this. Once they got, got that D-Machine grind going, it was going to be plain sailing from here on out. Yeah, I think it, for, uh, on Ansar's side of the field, I think he's act I find it's interesting because he's trying to do this grind without actually using his hourglasses. Uh, yeah, that, that is kind of odd. Like, we're not going to have a whole lot more encounters before the end of the game, so why not use them? And, uh, Gonna knock that Tella down to use as an anchor, it looks like. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, it's not like, you know, Tella's gonna contribute that much. You're, it looks like he looks like Antel's basically setting up for a free per essentially a free person um, Z fight, Zoroma's fight. Mm -hmm. And uh, Neon's back! Oh, yeah. it looks like But do they? But do they have the Palum? I hope they have the Palum.
Yeah, I hope so too, because that Palamut, again, we, we have a, what's that, Mutant Knife and or Lilith, Lilith Rod. Yeah, Lilith Rod, He's also going to act as a barrier for the, he's also able to act as a barrier for the Demon Machine grind itself. Um, that's, it's, that Palamut is going to do a lot of work there. Oh yes, yeah, so yep. Okay, so we just saw um Until use the the bear command. Do you know what the bear command actually does, the pixel tamer? Uh it is a short lived increase to physical defense. I think it's twenty five percent. And it can be reflected. I have accidentally star bailed it onto bosses before. Specifically a oh, really? oh really? Oh <laughs> I have not done that before. Um Yeah, we, we, we don't have a save that has Palum. Yeah. We're going back into Dwarf Castle. This is such a time loss, I feel so bad yeah, for them. That's, uh, yeah, so do I. Uh, but it's it's one of those unfortunate things where, you know, you have like, gamepad issues at the wrong time. And yeah, it just, that's a, what, I think 10 minutes? I think 5, 10 minutes? Just at least lost 5 because minutes, yeah. This, through no fault of your own. This is, yeah, this, this is real unfortunate. Um... Save early, save often, everyone. Well, that's the thing. That's the thing from the side of the field, right? Right, like they were pretty close to saving. They just if the if the issue if the issue happened like two mi about when when they got to the safe point in Giants, they were they were Would basically have been fine. fine. Meanwhile, Antidale looks. Yeah, Meanwhile is slowly getting crushed. A uh, crush. You no, know, Evil slowly kind of inching forwards. Yeah, trying to do this fight with only four. Okay, I think that might be. That's a wipe now. Needed um that food to be able to actually cast that cure for. But board AI knows. Yep. Potentially going to go grab some XP here from the, the Plague spot. Oh! Well, Hello, free experience. XP. Not as much though, it's only like 32,000, that's basically a level. Yeah, but it's free. Yeah, free is a good price to pay for getting levels, I, I will admit. Yeah, EOG yeah, just making that. Re redoing that, that Octoman fight. It's gonna get through. Pretty, no. Pretty cool. actually gets to uh, also knock down Palum as well, so that's also useful. Maintains, maintains the ability to slingshot, among other things. But yeah, I think. Um, uh. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I think I'm going to ask Ansel a lot of interesting questions. This, no, what if he wants to be interviewed? That is. Mm hmm. Well, well Arthur's arrows are not useful That'd for be, uh, his party right now. Yeah, it would be great for a, a dragon grind of some kind, but we don't have that Edward. Uh, only person we've seen so far who could use them. That's not true. Palum can oh, use no? those. Uh, Fu can use bows, thank you very much. Fu can use bows? Yeah. You're kidding, right? No. Like, it's actually, it's, I, it's actually useful to back row glitch him. You're right, he can use bows, I never knew this. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of, <laughs> Mio, in the desperate search for experience, I guess we're doing the crystal so Crystal's, uh, the Wyvern spot? Looks like it, but, uh... Yeah, I, I just... 
I just checked our comprehensive database on Fu's equipment, and there, there's a bunch of bows and arrows listed there. Oh, hey. This is... A funny thing to see here, because Plague has just moved over, moved next door, basically. Yep. But I think recent because I think he realized he's on like battle speed three or something, or trying to get a better setup. Or it could be trying to reflect the count, which is always pretty swag if you get it to happen. Oh yeah, true. I mean, it's not like you're gonna use those cybers or anything else. So yep, there we go. And this fight there is our free fight. Free. It was easy before, it's free now. So I'm wondering, why is Neon using... What? I'm trying to work out what's um, Neon's... Oh! Is is Neon trying to slingshot the, tel the, the Yang as well? Oh! It's wow! Not, okay, that's that's heads up. That's a heads up yeah, play right there. Yeah, that might be what's going on here because Yang really benefits from slingshotting, and at this point, Yang and Palom are both five or more levels below the median, so we can yep. get a slingshot on both. That is such a heads up play. Uh, you can stop now, Neon. This is. Oh, okay, I guess those eggs can be stoned after all, I didn't know. Yep. Huh. I guess we all all are learning things today. Isn't, isn't it great? The fact that Boo can use bows is the wackiest thing I'm going to learn today. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 such a rare corner case, like, um, that Boo can use bows. But, look, sometimes if you need to have, um, Boo equip an Artemis bow to manipulate agility, I guess if you needed food to actually deal damage to Vivalis in certain spots. Yeah, y yes. Uh, this... Th that's happened to me. It was, um... I did have a seed where... I was at... Uh, Val Valis at the Cave Magnus spot, so, you know. All the fun stuff. Wait, wait. Why is it was Kane... required. It was required. Why is Kane on the floor? I thought we reflected the... Uh, the count. Oh yeah, Starbell could have run out. That's a good point, Alchemy. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, looks like we're in that lovely, strange situation where the count has reached zero, but it's not ticking down to kill them. Yeah, because um, the Z the Zerk that um that Kane has is going is kind of messing with the um with with things. So I want. A jolly shenanigans, basically. Yeah. And yet, Ka Plague is down on Antidote's side. TLDR agility is weird. Yes. Oh, hey, a Luka Key. Just what we always wanted. And a key item that puts Antidale at 9. I mean, yes, but like... I think it's the bigger payoff is the two levels, honestly. Oh, agree. 100% agree. Yeah, Neon's actually in a really tough spot right now. I'm like, I'm not sure why they checked the 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 last the last time chess here. Like, I I think I'd just be um just go straight for the machine grinding and um be done with it. But it might be something we have to ask them you know, for it for their thoughts on, on it. Oh hey! We got an exile from the last time chest though, so that's useful for the Cecil we don't have. We've got a crystal shield, we've got a, an Excal. Where's our paladin hiding? At the end of the giant, obviously, you know. Oh, I, you know, I was just thinking that. Or in the Tower of Zot, maybe. Like, we still have... 
Yeah. Well, that's the other. That's, well, those are literally the only other spots. Oh, yeah, oh are, we have hook oh, route. Sure. We have the hook route. But yeah, the bear ability is plus 25% defense. I don't remember if it's permanent or for the turn, but uh, it is reflectable. And like I said, I learned that the hard way. <laughs> Actually, I think one thing that Neon Grey has also just picked up, which will come in for quite handy for a potential evil wall fight, is a Moon Veil. So, no, is it. So, the key thing for the Moon Veil is not the fact that it gives us wall, but it also gives the barrier stats. The barrier stats is going to be very um, helpful when it comes to, you know, Getting punched it a lot by um, exactly. an evil wall. Yeah, barrier says physical attacks don't hurt you. Uh, it's as though you had a blink that does not end, except without the really uh, twitchy animation. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. We might. Oh. Uh, this is probably the point where I might we might see. Um, uh, a disaster happened in the moment. So, maybe, we might be okay. So part of the issue here is that we have um, Fu not in the center slot, and we really want uh, weak to land on um, on these Steam Machine grinds. So, um, there's, a, there's a slight chance that this this can go in poorly. Yeah, like, Fratella, you have to have him in the middle. He just doesn't have the stats to be reliable otherwise. But uh, Fu is probably safe in this spot. Okay. That's fair. I, know, I, I just know. I just get into a habit of just assuming, like, just having it in the in the middle slot. It, worst case scenario is, you know, you have to do the fight. You no. Know, uh, you just stick to it, and it'll be fine. Mm -hmm. And uh, Antonelle still. Struggling with that uh, evil wall, trying to complete the objective. <laughs> oh, so nice. Neon, Neon doing this did get a double low, so that's no. That would have been a perfect setup if Callum didn't actually miss with the swing. Might have been better, uh, better off actually using the right as an item. As opposed to swing, so because you're guaranteed to do one damage and trigger the alert. Oh, it's a little fraud. That's right. the one that absorbs it. No. Yeah. We see him unequipping, or sorry, see them unequipping it and yeah. uh, just punching the alert to get that D machine to show up. Yeah. But no, look, slow and steady kind of gets, um, it's going to get there eventually. And I think, actually I think heads up being able to get doubles this way as well. That This is a, this is a very interesting setup to get uh, guaranteed doubles. I, I'm here for this. Yeah, double life glitch is hard to pull off. Like, the most common way I've seen it done and the most common way I've been able to get it done is by using Ice 2 to buffer things. Uh, but even then, I still haven't got the timing right. It's like this is this is a skill to learn. Yeah, yeah, and may have to ha it might be some another thing to ask them. Um, see, I, I've got all these questions to ask our, our runners. It's gonna be amazing. Um, I almost, I'm almost afraid to ask this, but are you gonna sing your questions at them? No. Okay, Look, good. I, I'm good for uh, I'm good for one Christmas Carol during Christmas. So, all right. <laughs> Look, Al Ali, I will sing, but at another um, I will sing, but no, at, maybe at a diff at different stage. Uh, looks like only only a single for um for the end of the time round, but still that's eight that's eight D machine grinds uh D machines only needs uh three more by our check of the chart. Correct. And uh, uh, yes, your your singing intro has been posted to the Clips and Seeds channel on our Discord, so uh, it is around for perpetu for uh, perpetuity now, or at least until Twitch deletes the clip. I'm not quite well sure how that works. 
Uh, so, murmur to yourself. Set up the MCA. Uh, no, I won't do that. <laughs> That'd be awful. Yep, getting really close on Anthel's side of the screen. Might be seeing Crash Phase pretty soon. Oh, no, we had Crash Phase, and ooh, I think that this might be not controllable at this point. Yeah, we, oh, maybe. We might, oh, no. we might recover. Yeah, this might be a time where you also, but trying to recover, also, um, trying to get deal damage to this evil wall it might be a, a tough thing. Oh, this is actually, this is actually tense. I have no idea how much how much damage this evil wall's taken. Yeah, I, I am, oh. I am, I am excited to see how this ends. I hope he gets there. There it is! Oh, no, he's through, he's through, he's through. Nice. Uh, Telly got some levels, oh, wow. but that's GTS okay, now. we've got our crystal. Yeah. Hey, we've got our 10th key item, we now could do, do grinds, right? Totally. All right. Oh, and the pants, that's another key item. Yeah, that is uh, two more checks available to us now if we wanted to go and check something for some reason. Oh wow! Uh, oh wow! So, as I said before, we had three. Uh, we had five races in this race. We had, so we have in first place, Flurry fourteen with a time of one hour forty minutes and seventeen seconds. Coming second place with a mere one. Just two seconds later is Jeebus Zero. Second place, one hour, fourteen minutes, and eighteen seconds. What a what a close race between those two. Gee, yeah. If uh, if that was a tournament race, we'd be retiming it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, yeah, we would totally retime that. That's that is very very close. Like. That is so close that, like, latency on the Discord race bot and the internet connections could make or break the difference. Agreed. That's, um... That is, uh... Wow. <laughs> My mind's still blown from that. This yeah. has been, a uh, This has been such a race. Oh. And it's been a year of ties, too. Like, we had two during three miss zone. That would almost count as a tie. Yeah. Yes, yeah, GG's yeah. to both, um... Flurry, Flurry and Jeebus, who f who unfortunately failed to finish last in this race. So you know, we have to no, we have to not no. Do we have to disqualify them because have, they didn't come in last? Is that what you're saying? Them. Yeah, yeah, clearly. Did, huh? Did, was that was that another was that a king king? A King Ging grunt fight? Oh no, was that another siren? Huh. In fact, actually Neil was in involved with, oh, in, a, in a tie himself. I think yes. it was against Lord Bobbery. That sounds right. Yeah, Neon was the first tie of three Bison. And uh, that was during the hook run, I think. Oh yes, it w yes. And uh looks like Antidale is just turned on encounters and is looking for fights that way. Uh, must be out of sirens. Well, yeah, like you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, like you don't, you know, you don't have the levels to do this. Um, the, other th the other thing is that oh, oh, yeah, that, that's got those lightnings are going to do awful things. But yeah. 
But yeah, just go show how much of a jet seed this actually was. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm just blown away by the shenanigans this seed has offered us tonight. And it's amazing how little of it you really needed. Did oh did Ansel take a wipe? To looks like he did. Oh, yeah. Um, those um those King Rears don't mess around at all. Oh yeah, this is a this is a risky fight if you are not prepared for it. With a lovely amount of experience though. You know, I think I'm I think we're getting to the point where I think Ansel has forgotten that he starts with um hourglass at this point because this will come in quite handy right now. Is he not used to his hourglasses still? No. Yeah, we should ask about that. Yeah. It's in my or oh, it's in my notes. <laughs> in my right. um Yeah. I made some notes as well. It's um Right, you're 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 tracking the things to talk to the runners about, I'm tracking the the stats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> good setup, good setup. Yeah. Yeah, so Neon Gray's gonna have a, a much easier time of, of, of both the this um evil wall fight and this um Demis fight. This will be yeah five five k you know, hit points on this Yang. Um, yeah, this should be quite. And we have two new casters. Yeah, it should be quite yeah, um, and uh, quite almost chill. three thousand on that cane. We are we are we are super good to go. There goes that, uh, oh wow, Palum survived getting hit by Evil Wall. That's impressive. Look, when you have to, no. Well, off, off me, it was doing like 200 hit points to like, um, oh, a hint? If you have two, over 2,000, yeah, that, that means you get to survive it. Swag Kamikaze from Antidale to try and keep the experience points down on Tella. Uh, Ooh, yeah. Pound, pound down on um on um neon side, but that's that's okay. Uh, okay, um, Pound has all the kind of has all levels, and yeah, we are now through the. This yep. evil wall fight. Yeah, we're getting a crystal. That's the thing that matters. And uh, it looks like Neon has uh, overcome the, the the really bad situation with the controller and uh, might be able to scoop third place away from our other runners. Yeah, um, it's you no. Know, again, you hate to see the, the, the fact that it happened, but you no, know, it you no know, fair pl fair. Pl well done to Neon to 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 keep calm and just do what you need to do to get through the seat. Yeah, I would have tilted super hard. So props to them for keeping the cool. Yeah, I would also tilt tilt it pretty hard there. Not, not gonna lie. But no, sticking it out. Um, you know, appreciate uh, their time time in, do in doing this. But uh, as we uh, get into the lunar core, uh, we haven't seen Zeromus yet. Why haven't we seen him in the boss pool? Uh, we're not doing that just yet, because we still need to fight this Riven uh, Master Mino Elsa and this Demist. Oh, you're so right, I totally forgot that. We'll uh, answer that question later. I forgot that Neon hadn't done Demist yet, I was so caught up in the, the 
the um, the evil wall shenanigans. I mean, it's fair. Evil wall is, in fact, a very evil wall. You know, it's not the most famous evil, worst spot for an evil wall. Yeah, it definitely um, did wall Antidale for a while. Oh yes, definitely. But uh, I, th I think like, I'm trying to remember um, order I f where I ranked. Uh, I think I went to in someone else's chat ranked top. 10, I feel like top 5 or top 10 worst spots for... No, it wasn't Evil Walls. Evil Wall, I think it was. Yeah, and um... Okay, Ruben, I think is top... In the top... No, top 10 at least. And Leviathan spot would be nasty. Uh, Bahamut spot would be nasty. CPU or elements would be terrible. Yeah. I know, I think... I think but King Queen is probably like... the. It's probably oh, the worst. Yeah, the King Queen. Because you're not going to have the levels to deal with that at that point of the game. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Because when it's bad, it's really bad. But that's, thankfully, we just had it at the Ribbon Room. So. Yeah. Okay, just while above, we actually our runners really struggled Antidale. to get through. Yeah. So while we have um, Antidel do grind up some more levels and uh, Neon Grey fight through the Steamist, um, a huge shout to Al. Al Alchemy for doing tracking for us. Ne nearly done here. Nearly done. So oh, your jobs will be complete soon. And also huge shout to Sluggy for rolling us a jetty, but tro yeah, and yet trolley seed. Yes. And uh, if you have nothing to better to do tomorrow night, if you are unable to hang out with your family during the holidays, uh, we are going to have our weekly community race tomorrow night. Uh, it's the same flag set as Monday. It's going to be in about 25 hours from now. And it's going to be over on the Randomania network somewhere. So uh, stay tuned to Discord and Twitter if that's a thing you want to pay attention to. Hey, Flurry. Well, thanks for the raid. GG's. Congrats on your very close finish. And first place. And, and, congrats, and congrats on the snipe. Well executed snipe there. Ooh, actually, one. Uh, we are on free enterprise, aren't we? So one thing I probably should advertise right now is I'm pretty sure this still works right yes it does so uh, if if you have any ideas for either uh, harp songs or the Zero, Zero sprites or even race flag sets if you can enter exclamation box and you can um you'll, you'll get a bitly link and that'll help you can maybe potentially submit some ideas yeah uh, we obviously can't take every idea that's given to us but uh I'm sure we take the best of them. <laughs> See, I'm I'm good at doing um, dropping truth bomb troops to to everyone in in the chat. No, there's no guarantee that your your suggestions will be taken, but it's no, it will it will help at the very least. Alright, Neon has the crystal. Now can we talk about Zeromus? Uh, I suppose, if, 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 if you feel like it. Well, I mean, we haven't seen him yet, and the bosses are randomized yet, so what's up with that? Uh, so apparently there's something to do with the fact that, you no, know, Zeromus is very mean because no one likes seeing big bang, big bangs anywhere in the seed, except for the end fight, so, uh, we just leave him where he is, right there in the moon. In the moon. However, we t this is a randomizer. We do want to have some fun with this, so we we actually randomize what what um, sprite he take what form he takes. Um, so there's about over 450 sprite sprites in the pool. So it could be you no, know, and it could be from you know other Final Fantasies, other um, other games, other memes, uh, in jokes for the community. It's um it is so there's a lot to, to take note to consider here. Uh. Do you have any any favorites there, um, um, Pixel? A recent favorite of mine was uh, Mikumus. Uh, I was doing a marathon race with Ground Flyer, and that was the the seed that the the bidding war ended up in, and it was just fantastic. Just full sprites take up the entire screen of Patsuni Miku, and like my palette was running on top of the the microphone in order to catch his reflection oh. nukes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, cool. all right, that's a good one. Um, but yeah, but looks like Neon Gray has not saved just. Went to beat Demis and is wa walking the way down to the Nicole, just doing the absolute swag just to catch up in time. But yeah, uh, do you, would you do the honors, Pixel? Yes, so as we've mentioned, 
Seromas can take many forms. There's almost 500 of them. So whose butt are we going to kick tonight? Hey. I, I, I messed up last time I, 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 I was asked a question. I said something about Caboose. It was weird. I mean, the first time I asked, I trolled the community and asked whose face we were going to smash, and I, I got some people riled up. <laughs> uh, uh, it was enough. during the, the thing we opened last year. <sighs> nice. That's alright. We don't have. You don't always have to follow the memes, right? But look, we are about to get a crystal. We are going to probably see a bluff. Oh, a power from <laughs> Yang, and we're going to find out who is. Zero what form Zerums is taking? Uh, I think that's a Yu-Gi-Oh. I think we our trap card just got activated of some sort. I don't know. I know nothing about um. I know very little about Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, why don't you? Why don't we just exile some blue cards and just counter this entire boss fight without paying its mana cost? Ah, uh, but I, but I have to lose a life for that. Uh, I appreciate I that you're going the to cast like uh, Oko, That's fine. Ugh, like Oko, don't get me started. <laughs> okay, I won't. <laughs> All I want to do is cast Lord of Atlantis and hit you for five island walk with one creature. <laughs> Look, True Name Nemesis is a fair card. I will. That is a that is a hill I will die on. I actually agree with you on that one because I'm a Merfolk player, but we are getting so off topic right now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is so it looks like going hybrid hybrid for um for our our team here on the end side of the field. Um, we have no Eddie's even contributing with uh with some 600 point arrow arrows, so that's that's good. I guess the, the kind of annoying part is that, well, uh, Kane, Kane has got very little hit points and, yeah, but needs to get healed up. So it looks like we're going to have a few bunch of QO2s cast it his way. Wait, did... Wait, why is I, thought, that I, I thought he had it. I, I thought he had his crystal. Uh... So did he not I. save after getting it uh, and then wipe during the grind? Is that because we saw him wipe during the grind? But I assumed he'd saved. I was sure he had his crystal. Uh. Uh. So was I. Uh. Uh. Oh, he. Did, oh, he did wipe during the grind. Oh, you hate to see that. Yeah, that that's a real gut punch. Yeah, oh. Yeah, that, that really does, uh, that really is unfortunate. Yeah, that's, oh man, I don't want to imagine yeah, how everybody else feeling right now. It's got to be awful. Yeah, that's, that. Ooh, but yeah, on the on the other side of the field, we just had a a big a big band just wipe out type wipe out party. So that's also not great. Oh, I'm black hole already. Yeah, this is gonna be rough. And like you said, Neon did the swag walk. So, uh, oh man, both our runners might have to refight some rude bosses instead of just uh, Antidale. Well, I think for the other side, I think it's just the Dean miss. I think. Correct. They say they save after, so it's not as bad. But yeah, it also foods out of mana. So, um... wow, that big bang came. Yeah, it looks like furious. we might just be. I don't. Yeah, that did, didn't it? Hmm. Did we 
We did we throw a silk club at least? I don't know. I hope we have an elixir or something that we can just use to top foo up. Oh no, more big bang incoming. Wow, that, that shake happened again. Oh. Uh. Huh. Now this is all right. This is probably one time where we really have to consider what our options are here. So yeah, so that ca so that Fu is probably going to go down. Yep, uh, a single target but cure three would have kept Fu up. Yang would have survived the Big Bang because he's got a huge health pool. But... Actually, no, it might be it might not be too bad because Yang has enough hit points to survive a big another Big Bang. So once he once he gets back his uh his um oh the nuke does change. Actually no, because that's fine because now you have nuke into black hole. Now you have black hole coming. So now we actually have enough time to. No, because the script is nuked in black hole. Oh, okay. So now you should have enough to to um get cure free, get a cure free up. Yeah, no, this this is fine. You think they can recover from this? Uh, yeah, it'll be it's gonna be rough, but it it's we're we're just rec in, recoverable, only barely. Yeah, getting the second yeah, tier 3 now, off is okay. critical. Yeah. And Ant, it looks like Ansel is, is, has decided to go... It's, um, is going to go down to the fight um, Zeromus as well and fight discover Kai Kaibamus. Yeah, oh, this might be a bit rough now because uh, need to get uh, that cure off like now, like now, I think. Yeah. Uh, nope. That's, no, no, that's a wipe. That's a wipe. That's a that's a reset. No. Oh man, if those damage rolls had been flip flopped, Yang would have survived. Yes, but uh, part of the problem there is that Yang has no magic magic defense, so right, um, right. It's all he's always going to take a whole a, a metric ton when it comes to that. Yeah, uh, we see some reorganization happening in the party to try and uh, make things a little smoother. Yeah, I think this is where I think you actually have to have food in the middle. I think because everyone else is just too fast is the problem here. Wait, does Neon not realize that they need to get um? Fight, we fight the Themis. Oh, I, I hope they remember. Oh, good, they do remember. Oh, good. Okay, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> we don't need our rough runners to suffer any more than they already have tonight. Yeah, that's true. That was, um,. Agreed. That was a very rough one on um neon. What's happened to neon? And silly for Antidale, That's uh, that's definitely a rough one. Yeah, both of our runners have had some uh, some real unfortunate things happen to them tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Alchemy. I. You have pressed way more buttons than I thought you were going to do. Like, I'm checking things, I'm checking things. You're doing a very good job. Wait. Very interesting Zeromus fight on um, Ansel's side of the field. It's just going with four four party members. Just going to um, make as much... Yeah, Frankie, Frankie. the reason that Ansel only has four characters, he has not checked Baron Castle. Uh, he's not checked... Um, he I'm going to this intentionally faded Baron in, because that's yeah, a fifth he, character. He faded Baron in. We did not get... That was where we had the Edward. 
And the pass, yeah. Uh, actually, it's Dwarf Castle had Baron Pelham. Uh, B Baron Castle was a cane, a dupe cane off memory. Yeah, Baron Castle was cane. Dwarf Castle was Pelham. Yeah, our 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 Quake Kid is in another castle. Yeah, so Neo Gate is no again have has once again defeated the the, the Demis at our. The Masamune Ulta is going to re-get their crystal. I think that's I think it's the first time I've seen a stream where we've had four people get the crystal when there's only two runners. Or like uh, four this, crystal yeah. pop up. Yeah, I know what you meant. Uh this is a This is a <laughs> unique this is a, this is a weird run tonight. Yes. Oh, are we are we seeing another swag walk? We are getting another swag walk. Yeah. Well, what? what no, if go no double down on swagging. I mean, gotta. I think it's actually unfortunate for um, Neon that since they didn't do um, Baron Castle, they don't have a defense sword. Yeah. Uh... Also, Kane does not have a whole lot of magic defense on his equipment. Neither does uh, Yang. Yeah, as I said, like a lot, of, lot, lot of, a lot of Yang's equipment is basically like you, you want to def magic defense, ha. Huh. Well, they're also both running low level equipment in general. Like I think the best thing I saw there was the black belt. I think did it, I've course sworn they picked up a bandana somewhere, but oh well. Might have been Maybe. a headband, but yeah, not a lot of good equipment, or at least on the armor side. We we got a few good weapons for Kane. Yeah, you know, I'm looking at Anthony's fight, and it can't. If if it wasn't for the fact that he has um, MP problems, this actually looks doable. Yeah, just maintain the berserks. Looks like he's queuing up a replacement for right as the black, black hole lands. That's pretty yeah. heads up. Yep, that's no when you when you know the script that well that that m makes sense. Yeah, I usually trip myself up about, like, if he does the HP refill, does he still do the black hole on the second Big Bang? And I just, I need to spend more time learning the script. Yeah, same. same. I, I keep on forgetting, no, though, especially when it comes to um, low level, like, 1200 HP strats or Edward strats. I just keep on forgetting. Oh, wait, no, there's a, there's two, two um, black hole cycles before the virus phase. Yeah, I just learned 1200 hit point strats for the Legacy Club race last week. Oh, speaking of Legacy Club, uh, Club Race, that is we are that is on in two in two days time. Um, so it's it's a it's a interesting flag set because we have no XP and we also have K Trap on enabled. But it's okay, we have Vanilla Trap, so it's all good, right? Yes, and uh, as the name kind of suggests, uh, this this racing club is inspired by uh, Legacy board games like Pandemic, Risk, uh, or my favorite, Betrayal of the House on the Hill. And uh, the winner gets to change of each race gets to change one flag, and there are some meta objectives that uh, the admin for the, the league sets up. Uh, that's Zoe, and if runners do that, things change. And Antidale is done. It looks like. Yep, he is done. He is finished in third place with a time of one hour forty minutes and thirty nine seconds. GG to Antidale. That was a rough one. We'll see if he's available, going to come in for an interview. And uh, Neon's Eddie continues to survive these big bangs. Uh, means that they are consistently nerfing them. Yeah, uh, he is clearly the bestest boy after all. Uh, would be better with a spoon, but uh, he looks like he's pulling some weight. 
I mean, 600 damage is not nothing. It's like 1% of um, Zerms' hit point pool. If you round up, Also, yeah. we can't hit, give him the spoon. He can't give him the spoon this fight set, sadly, so... Oh, you're right! This does not have the spoon flag turned on. So, like, what's your option then? Like, Artemis Bow with Artemis Arrows? Okay. Yeah, so... Understandable, I think, with that, Antel is not going to... Be, is opting not to have it interviewed, and that's, that is his right. In any case, uh, GG, GG's to him, and we... Um, GG's to him. That, Words are hard tonight. <laughs> Words are hard. English is a hard language to master, yo. Uh, yeah, so meanwhile, on the end, you know, Grey Side Field looks net. It still looks like we're going through um, hybrid strats. Um, yeah, I think this fight is coming. It's, I believe we're in the clear now. Like, we've got. We have the ability to have um, it. Um, our Fu do a whole bunch of damn nukes. We probably have a whole bunch of ethers left over. We have Berserks going on our, on our two fight. Our two, two beefy boys. Um, yeah, I think we. This should be. Really straightforward. Agree. This is looking a lot smoother than the, the first attempt. Well, if we did want to get the spoon, at least we know it's, uh, it was down on um after being demissed. So yep. that's nice, at least. Yeah. It would have been awful if, uh, though, uh, Neon had gone back to get it and then used the pass and then wiped without saving. That would have just been terrible. See, fair. I think if you're, if you're using the pass, I think at that point you're probably just... Um, uh, yeah, you would save beforehand, I hope. You would save for Horn, yeah. Ooh, we might be in an uh, in interesting spot now, because... Oh, rocks are oh, falling. No, we're at rocks phase. Rocks are falling. Ooh. This actually could be bad, because now that those those nukes are going to go somewhere. Those nukes are going literally nowhere. Well... Oh, true, yeah. Somewhere's nowhere, right? Nowhere's somewhere, right? I mean, Devnall is technically an endpoint. <laughs> yeah. Snap, crackle, pop! That's the game! Neon in 4th place with a 1 hour 45 minutes and 5 seconds. GG's to Neon! And uh, we are joined by Neon, tonight's 4th place finisher. Uh, GG's, uh, really sorry about the controller issues you had, but uh, good recovery from that. Yeah, that really, uh, yeah, I, got, I bumped my, uh, my USB on my controller and then suddenly everything was not working. Which well, uh, uh, kind of sucked, but what can you do, really? Uh, well, you can keep your cool and recover like it looks like you did. Yeah, I mean, honestly, as far as it goes, it was not half as bad as what I loaded into the fight, uh, the Zed fight the first time, but I was like, oh, no, Kane shouldn't be there. Yeah, you're... <laughs> oh. Yeah, Zeromus was really fast on that first attempt. Uh, looks like something was not quite right with the agility, perhaps. Yeah, I don't know that it was the speed so much, uh, cause I, my anchor was the same both ways, but, um, the, the fact is, you know, when, when half your melee is not back rowed and they're in the back row, uh, that's a problem. Yeah, that's not gonna be uh... particularly fun. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, also, that was a very heads-up play. I, I, 
uh, trying to get gain the the um, double slingshot of, for your D machine grind by cracking open eggs. I thought that was very smart. Oh yeah, that was super clever. Yeah, I was uh, really proud of myself for thinking of that while I uh, when I realized that oh I had to re get Palum anyway, and I'm like, wait a minute, I have these eggs. Check, like, do some quick math on my levels, and it's like. I can really easily uh, get Yang to slingshot, and he really benefits from that. And especially yeah. since I was at like six key items at the time, it was uh, that was a huge help, I think. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, we for did sure. see from the spoiler log and Antidale screen that uh, the spoon was located behind Demist uh, at Rydia's mother. So, if you are wondering where that was for for your bard, uh, not on we, we not on the play set because right. he can't use it. Yeah, Infinity has yeah. already corrected me about that, so I, I don't know why I brought it up. I'm just so used to spoon <laughs> look, flex, I guess. Look, we established during the street stream that you have trouble remembering things after five minutes, so it's understandable. It's true. I did not put no spoon flag. We talked about this already in my notes. Yeah, yes, I clearly. mean, you can remember because this flag set was designed by Invenerable, who hates fun. <laughs> yes, he, that's, that's fair. He does, in fact, hate fun. I don't know. I just I think I heard you Although laughing. This... That that indicates that there might have been some fun involved. <laughs> oh no, it's, well, it's well, fun I, for I... hating on Invin. It's fine. Yeah, I, I I won't tell him if you don't. So. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I I do have a few other questions. Um, sure. So your so your demon machine grind was that uh having food being the the uh, the second slot on the top was that intentional to try and set up double life glitches or was that uh... just Oh, I was lucky. Yeah, no, that was just pretty much really lucky the way that worked out. Um, like, it's not as important that Fu be in the middle for those weeks as Tella is because Fu does not suffer those kind of accuracy issues. So it just worked out really well that way. Okay, okay. Yeah, it got me. Um, got, it, it got me curious. It's like, huh? It's not it's not a way I would have set up that party, but the but at least. It was, it was at least I learned something from it, at least, so that's good. Yeah, I mean, I mean, common wisdom is, of course, that you put your weak caster in the middle, and if I'd been thinking about it, I probably actually would have done that. But um, as it goes, um, it didn't really need it. Uh, I find for getting doubles, a really slow uh, battle speed helps a lot more than that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, double is a difficult skill to learn potentially. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe it was a hard. It was hard for that pie to get to doubles, essentially. So, but you know, you have to get lucky sometimes. Yeah, and I mean that's the most consistently I've ever gotten the double life glitches. So uh, maybe the offset or foo is something to it. So who knows? I mean, you played well. You you finished yeah. a, a seed that was kind of rough. Yeah, there was this one was tricky. Uh, a lot going on there, and. Not a lot of, uh, not a lot of party going on unless you were willing to crack open the package, which, you know, I really felt like I had to when, uh, when I got that. And I'm like, you know, I like Yang, uh, Kane's my favorite character, um, I like Eddie, but, <coughs> but, but when I'm, too. yeah, when I'm facing down the entire rest of the sea with just those three guys and I get a package, I'm like, Let's at least check. Yeah, and then fair you, enough. And yeah, when you see the mop, you you cannot say no to him. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's fair enough. Kind of unlucky that week ended up being the like the last, the still last spells he learned. But that's fine. No, that's still fine. Yeah, I mean, as it goes, I was, you know, you you wanted to max out anyway, so. Yeah, well, I think you'll really appreciate watching this back just to see what. Happened to the um Ansel, the other person who got restreamed, um, because he did not in fact get a fifth character. Oh, and uh, unfortunately, he he got his crystal and then took a wipe while grinding, so he had to refight Evil Wall. Oh no! Yeah, some terrible things yeah. happened to both of you, and uh, it it kind of hurt to watch at times, but like you both got through mm. it. Uh, that Evil Wall was not not pleasant. I mean. I, I always worry about Evil Wall at that spot just because there's so many hit points there. 
And, I mean, there wasn't actually anything to worry about, because I, you know, I bought the floor with it, but you always mm. worry anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, evil wall can be tricky for yeah. sure. Yeah, that's true. Like if you have to, if you have to um ref if you have to refight either Demis that um uh, Master Mune or um Evil Walt Ribbon, I'd pref I'd pick Demo Demis that uh, um as Master every time, not even close. Yeah, yeah, like that. The Demis fight was not that bad once it got going. Like yeah, yeah, if you can if you can slow the Demis and you have two blink casters, it's just gonna be a rough start. But then it's fine. Yeah, I mean I just had the one blink, but that was plenty. Um. N nuke is as good as a blink if uh, you kill it fast enough. <laughs> it's true. Sometimes uh, yeah. just beating the enemy faster is the, the best way to prevent damage. Best defense is good offense. Old old saying, right? Yeah. And I mean, you know, it, it's good getting to practice hybrid uh, on the Zed fight because I I really don't go for that by choice. Like I, you know, I I, I like my berserkers. And here I am, casting Berserk manually, like an animal. <laughs> right? <laughs> Look, some, some, it's not like you could buy Barker Swine, so it's, no, it's, it makes sense. Yeah, not even wanting to be found. Hmm. And of course, I got an Excalibur somewhere, which means to, I'm sure Cecil wasn't even in the seed. Yeah, I think uh, you got last that time last arm. Yeah. Yeah, last time Yeah. Chest. I was actually asking, uh, why did you take that last time chess fight? Because it seemed to me it seemed like an interesting choice. Um, well, I was passing by, and you know, I I like to check trap chests in general, uh, just because I like I like treasure chests. But I figured, you know, um, you know, maybe I could get an Artie bow, a cat claw, a defense sword, something like that. Yeah, uh, even no, a sorcerer robe would have been nice for, yeah. for Palum. Uh, yeah, the Baron fair. Castle King spot did have a defense sword available. Oh. And uh, you would have had to fight the the true king of Baron, Karate Ban. I mean... Why would I do that? He was in my party. Well, sometimes you just have to help your friend well, resolve an internal conflict. Sacrifices have to be made. It's true. Sacrifices have to be made sometimes. Blade. Uh, yeah, uh, any yeah, last uh, thoughts on the Do you have any Pixel? Uh, no, I'm good. I'm just wondering what Neon has any, if they have any last remarks that they want to make before we wrap this yeah. up and send you off to our next victim. Uh, not really. I think uh, we've covered it all pretty well. Uh, fun seed. Um, it is an interesting flag set. Uh, the uh, the tools you get from that loaded starter kit, um, it's surprisingly versatile. Because you, you, you really get a lot of stuff. I wish there were some illusions in that, but what can you do? I mean, you can always ask for them in the feedback channel, but who knows if you'll get it. I mean, I'm sure hmm. they're in the pool, so it was just luck, I'm sure. Right, right. Yeah. But yeah, uh, oh yeah. But uh, thank you for offering to be um, restream the young great. It was, it was, it was a, it was a very interesting one to watch. And again, and for, apologies for the um, the controller issue. Uh, well, it happens. Uh, not much to be done for it. Uh, and you know, it, it's always fun to be on restream because I, I am a real show off. <laughs> Yeah. So, so uh, that Are was gone? Neon, our, our fourth place finisher. Uh, it sounds like we're heading over to uh, Asuka424 next. Uh, she kind of gained some notoriety during 3 Miss Zone for rolling some very cruel seeds. And uh, she is practicing some experimental flags that might be used for a community race that revolve all around Edward. So uh, people who like Ooh. Edward might want to stick around. Nice. Yeah. And uh, thanks to everyone for tuning in. Thanks for... Uh, Infinius with his uh, wonderful opening soundtrack to this seed, <laughs> as well as uh, behind the scenes we had uh, Leggy Star Scream and Alchemy. So, uh, yeah, uh, and also don't forget to thank you, Pixel Pixel Tamer, for you know, for um, doing commentary with me. Uh, at least appreciating um, some bad learning, helping teach each other some things, and also being not my partner for that that song. <laughs> 
yeah, uh, everyone, please have a, a great holiday and stay safe and you know hang out with your loved ones if it is safe to do so.